Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Clarice Lim. Children call me Mrs. Sweet. Today we are going to touch on subject verb agreement. Okay, why subject verb agreement? Subject verb agreement is one of the basic in English. In fact, a lot of children are struggling with it. They can't identify what is the subject for the correct verb. And um, some adults are struggling as well. So if parents are sitting beside your children, this is something you can learn too. We'll start from P1, P2. These are the basic questions for you to understand what is subject verb agreement. Then we'll move on to P3 and 4, and then P5 and 6, MCQ grammar. Okay, let's take a look at this. My brother likes apples, but my parents, oranges. So how do you teach your children, or children, how do you assess this question will be, you ask yourself, who likes oranges? Because the likes is a verb. So, Whoever likes oranges, it has to agree with each, with each other. What do I mean? So if this is a plural subject, this has to be a plural verb as well. Okay, that is why they have to agree. So my parents, many of them, like. Why? I, sometimes I will tell the children as well, if there is an S in front for the subject, there is no S for the verb. That's how they can remember. It's an easy tip for the younger children to understand. So if there is S in front, there's no S behind. Therefore, my parents like oranges. That will be the subject verb agreement. Let's do a few more questions and you will know what I mean. Next question. For question two and three, you might want to pause the video over here so that you can try it on your own. I will continue teaching over here. So the boy crosses the road at the traffic lights every day. So the verb is cross. So in order to know who cross, the who will be the subject. So in this case, one boy. One boy, singular subject, you will need a singular verb. So a singular subject has no S behind. So behind over here in the verb, there should be an S. Therefore, it is crosses. Answer B. Did you get that right? Over here, the boys, you see that there is an S here. So by right, this is a plural subject. This will therefore be a plural verb without S. When there's S in front, no S behind. So without S, enjoy will be the answer. Did you get that right as well? Good job. Okay, you may pause the video here to try this question on your own. The answer for this will be the monarch butterflies. You notice that there is S in front here. This will be plural subject. It must come with plural verb. No S behind for plural verb. The answer will be A. Did you get that right? Let's try the next question. Okay, now we go to the P3, P4 level. So it's slightly more difficult because usually for P3, P4, there will be two grammar rules that's tested in each question. So let's see what is the two. Although it is almost midnight, my parents still not home from work. So where is the other grammar, quest grammar question, grammar rule that is being tested over here? Okay, so you see, there is is, are, was, were. What's the difference between them? These are past tense and these are for present. So how do you tell whether it's past or present? You will need to ask yourself, what is the other auxiliary verb that is used in the sentence? So in this case, this is present, is. So in the same sentence, you must use the same verb. In this case, is my parents, many parents, plural subject, plural verb, which will be present, are. Is is for singular. Answer, B. Okay, let's try the next question. You may want to pause the video at this moment so you can try it out on your own. The market packed with people when I visited it last weekend. So over here, you have the last weekend. So last weekend will tell you that you should choose from was and were and not is and are. So between was and were, which is singular, which is plural? Singular, was, plural, were. What is the subject over here? What was packed? Always ask yourself that. This verb is used for what? So this verb is used for the market. So the market is a singular subject. There's no S here. Therefore, it is a singular verb, was. Answer C. Let's try question three. 
You may pause the video to try this on your own. This pair of scissors. So some children will get confused over here because they see an S over here. However, it is how many pairs of scissors? It is actually just one pair of scissors. Scissors comes in a pair, so it is spelled with an S. So this is just its natural spelling. It doesn't mean that it is plural subject. It is a singular subject because it's one pair of scissors. So singular subject comes with a singular verb. In this case, how do you know whether it's present tense or past tense? Oh, there is no past tense. So it is quite simple over here. This pair of scissors has or have blunt blades. In this case, it will be one singular, singular has. Answer C. Have is plural. Let's move on. You may want to pause the video so you can try this question on your own. The bag of oranges. So some children will get confused because again, they see an S over here. However, this will be a collective now that they will need to identify that there is actually one bag of orange. So one bag of orange. They will need to identify this as a singular subject, therefore a singular verb is needed. Is there a tense? Okay, there is last night. So last night will tell you you have to choose was or were, singular subject, singular past tense, which is answer C. Let's try the next question. Once again, you might want to pause the video so you can try this question on your own. The large box with all the old books into the recycling bin. So over here, you need to ask yourself, is it the books or is it the large box? Again, collective now, all the books are placed inside this large box. So how many large boxes is there? The subject is a single large box, one large box, singular subject, singular verb. The large box with all the old books was thrown. Singular verb. How do you know it was and not has thrown or had thrown? Because the box cannot be something that is acting on the throwing. So it cannot be has thrown. The large box has thrown. No, it is the large box was thrown. It is done to it. Answer C. Okay, let's try number six. You might want to pause the video here. Of the shops in that shopping mall sell colourful beads. Okay, so where is the verb over here in this sentence? The verb is the action, which is sell. So what sells colourful bits? Shops sell colourful bits. But we have to decide which of these shops and how many of the shops sell colourful bits. So you notice that sell has got no S behind, so it is a plural verb, which means you will need to have a plural subject. So a plural subject, the answer none will make it wrong because none is a singular subject. So therefore, it can be all, it can be a few, it can be most. However, we need to read the second sentence. You will have to walk around to find them. If it's all of the shops and most of the shops that sell colourful bits, you don't have to walk around. So the second sentence is actually a clue to tell you the answer is actually only a few of the shops. Answer C, which is why you need to walk around to find them. Let's try the next question. You may want to pause the video as usual so that you can try it on your own. Question 7. A third of the students in this school goes. So this is the verb. Who is the subject? A third of the students. Okay, this can be very confusing because there is a. So is it a collective noun? And then there is students, obviously, many of them, and then goals. So the subject over here will therefore be what was goals. It will be the girls, the students are goals. Which is why over here we will take this as the plural subject. And the plural verb will be are. A third of the students in this school are goals. There's no reference to past tense over here. No general time in the past was mentioned. Therefore, you do not use was or were. Let's try an even harder category of questions, which is the P5, P6 questions. You may pause the video at this moment to try it on your own. Of them are doing voluntary work at the old folks' home every weekend. 
Where is the verb over here? R is the verb, right? So who is the subject? So if R is the verb, R is a plural verb, you will need a plural subject. Which one of these tells you is plural subject? Either of, neither of are both referring to singular subjects. Which will also be shown in another video. So you can learn about how to use either of, neither of in another video. Do follow us on that. One of them will also be singular. So this is also singular. That leaves us to only one answer available. Both of them, plural subject, plural verb, are. Answer B. Now we look at question two. Just before the game, the team full of enthusiasm and ready to give off their best. This is a bit confusing for most children because they will realize, okay, Mrs. V said subject verb agreement, there is no S, so this is a singular subject. However, there is another term over here that refers to the team as a plural. Because if this is a team and they are referring to the team as one person, they will not use the word there. They will use the word either his or her or its. If they use a plural subject, to refer plural pronoun to refer to the plural subject, then the subject verb agreement will have to be a plural verb over here. So the team, because there is plural, therefore the answer is are. Ah, the team are ah, full of enthusiasm. Okay, let's move on. You may want to pause the video at this moment to try this question on your own. When Jenny slipped on the wet kitchen floor, all but one of the bowls that he was she was carrying broken. So you ask yourself, this is the verb, where is the subject, what has broke? All but one. So how many bowls broke? All of them. Plural subject, plural verb. So the bowls that she was carrying were broken because were is plural. When Jenny slipped, this tells you a specific time in the past because that was when Jenny slipped. Specific time in the past, it cannot be A. R is present, were is past tense. Answer B. Let's try question four. Pause the video, try it on your own. $20, a lot of money to spend on a plate of chicken rice. I don't think I want it, said Mary. Okay, so Mary said this, $20. I think the open close in inverted commas is missing. <laughs> $20, a lot of money. So, a lot of children will think, okay, dollars, yes, Mrs. V said, if it's plural subject, plural verb, so you will think that $20 are a lot of money. However, again, we need to look at the reference to this subject. This subject is referenced as money. Money is an uncountable concept. Money is uncountable just like love is uncountable, information is uncountable, money is uncountable. You count money using dollars and coins. You do not say monies, okay? So therefore, if this $20 is referenced as a singular concept, money, you have to use a singular verb to represent the singular subject. In this case, $20 is, because Mary is saying it at that moment, I don't think I want it. It is at that moment, present tense, answer A. Okay, let's move on to the next question. You may pause the video at this moment to try question five and six. Using deceit to achieve your goals, a definite way to lose respect from others. Sounds like a fact. If this is a factual question, you will have to use simple present tense. I will cover that in another video. You can check it out, simple present tense, when to use it. So in this case, it is a simple present tense because it's a factual question using the seed to achieve your goals. So you need to ask yourself, this verb, who is the subject? What is a definite way? Using the seed is a definite way. Therefore, this is the subject. You do not count using the seed. It is a concept. You can't count it. It is therefore singular. So using the seed is a singular subject. You will need a singular verb present tense. Answer A. The arrival of the athletes with thunderous applause. What is met with thunderous applause? The, this is the verb. So what is met with thunderous applause? It will be the arrival and not the athletes. It is the arrival of the athletes. 
So the arrival becomes the subject. Arrival cannot be counted. It is uncountable. So it is a singular subject, singular verb. The arrival was met with thunderous applause. Did you get that right? Let's try another few questions. You may want to pause the video at this moment. All the sports equipment returned to the shelf this morning. Okay, we straight away we see this general time in the past this morning, so we know that it is going to be past tense. All the sports equipment, all sounds like plural. However, there is no S here. If there's no S, usually I will tell the children it is an uncountable subject. Uncountable subject is singular subject. Many words, in fact, in English language has got no S to represent the plural form. We have other words, for example, information. It has no S as well. The plural and the singular form is the same. Okay, so for example, we also have luggage. Also, singular, plural, no S. Okay, so for words like this, we have to be very careful. So tell the children, if there is no S, usually we will assume it is a singular subject. Use a singular verb. Answer was. Next question. You may pause the video to try this on your own. The police at the crime scene yesterday morning. Straight away we see yesterday morning, we know that it is past tense. Was or were. And then the police is referred to as they were collecting. So no S by right singular. However, the pronoun is plural referring to the police. Therefore, the police becomes a plural subject. A plural subject comes with a plural verb. In this case, were is the plural past tense to use over here. How many did you get right? I hope you've learned a very... Um, Meaningful lesson today in subject verb agreement. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments. I will try to reply you as much as possible. And uh, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you soon.